All right. Um, so this is going to be a quick video because I'm doing after school pickups, right? So this ride is going to be like five minutes before the kids come in the car. So quick discussion as so not to be interrupted, right? So what I'm going to talk about now is um, a topic that came about that keeps popping up for some reason um, in my inbox and all that great stuff is basically, and this is about women, um, because I feel like it's more common among women than it is men, but the topic at hand is if you have some kind of, let's say, negative reaction, um, if your ex whom you dealt with for, I would say, a good amount of time um, gets into a new relationship, so we're assuming that your relationship is over and um, is like great, for lack of a better word, and the next person benefits from your, let's call it work, right? So, the, the conversation stems around the fact that a lot of women deal with these men who, for lack of a better word, are stupid, right? We'll say it that way. You know, they cheat, they lie, um, you know, they're multiple offenders, offenders rather. Um, they have multiple offenses, that's what I was going to say. Um... And at the end of the day, the woman is like, you know what? I can't take it anymore. I'm done. I can't do this because she's tired of the BS, right? So now said man is like, oh, I'm so sorry. I want to be better. And this is often a lot of times the case. Like once you leave them or you're pretty much out the door, meaning, you know, the communication is gone. The care is gone. The effort is gone. And you no longer want to put into this relationship. The man has an epiphany that you're so great and you're the best thing that ever happened to him. And he has to change his ways, right? But you are done. You can't take it. You dealt with it for X amount of years. You cried. You stressed. You lost weight. You gained weight. Like you just went through too much with and around this man. And you're like, I am done. I don't care what you change. I don't care what you fix. That's not going to negate all of the nonsense you put me through. And all of the bad feelings I have about you. Right? Fast forward. This man now moves on and is in another relationship. And my girl is on cloud nine because this is the man of her dreams. Because this man is now doing for her all of the things that he promised he would do for you when it was too late. Are you upset? Now, from what I've been hearing, most women are saying they feel some kind of way. I don't know if we're going to say they're upset, but they're in their feels at minimum, you know? But we're going to be honest about it. And a lot of women are upset by this. And they turn into bitter baby mamas. They turn into hate and a word exes. They do all of the things that is just like, ma'am, you told me you didn't want him, right? For me, no, I'm not upset. You know why? Because even if once he got himself together, he did all of that for me, all of the stuff that he did to get me to get him to be trained, as people like to use that term, and to act right, is not going to leave my head. So we cannot have a productive relationship because it's still going to be in my head. And even if I don't bring it up, I don't mention it. We don't have to fight about it, but it's still going to be in my head and I'm still going to feel the way about it. So I am happy for the next woman and I'm praying that he continues to act right and he does not act a fool. And that's it for me. What y'all think? Y'all be mad or not? Nah?